To make things worse, I think someone might be stealing my supplies. Oh, someone's stealing your supplies, you say. Maybe you're just careless. I may have my hands full here, but I'm anything but careless. Unfortunately, I don't have the time to go searching for missing supplies since I have my hands full with injured troopers. Well, we could look into that for you, sure. No, we'll look into it. That would definitely be appreciated. You might want to ask around and keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Well, first, I'm going to need more information from you. I'm always a sucker for a pretty face. What can I do for you, my fine dear? <laughs> what? Uh, excuse me. Hang on. Hold on a second. I like your haircut, but I don't like you. We wanted to talk to you about the missing medical supplies. I store a variety of drugs here, but it looks like my supply of Hydra is diminishing rather quickly. Oh, people use Hydra and they have their skin turn purple, right? Good God, no. Look, don't worry about symptoms. Just ask around and see if anyone has noticed anything suspicious. Okay, where do you keep your supplies? Locked in a cabinet here in the medical tent. I'm around most of the time, but I can't keep a constant watch on them. I remember coming in one morning and noticing my supplies were lower than they should have been. I thought it might have been a mistake, but another morning I noticed the same thing. The camp is pretty dead at night, especially at 0200 hours when the guard shift changes. That'd be a good place to start looking. You just say 200 hours. You don't say 0200 hours? No, just say 200 hours. No, you say 0200 to let people know that you are speaking in military terms. Otherwise, they'll come back in 200 hours. I guess. Yeah, you are giving these guys way too much credibility. They are not smart enough to know that 200 is not literally 200. That's right, you are talking about a bunch of grunts. Rusty, do you know anything about these missing medical supplies? No! Well, that was convincing for me. It must be someone else. I'm afraid you're not going to find much help here. We've got our hands full as it is. Okay. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Shut up! Hey, you know anything about medical supplies? No time to talk. I have to keep watch for Legion raiding parties. Gah! He says, looking away from where the Legion raiding parties would come from. The Legion is assembling a massive army on the other side of the river. How can we stop an army when we can't even handle the raiding parties? You're awfully twitchy. You using some drugs? Look, look five-hour energy should not be consumed in mass. It's obviously not very healthy for you. No, you really should avoid consuming that much five-hour energy. Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> it seems like for every Legion soldier we kill, two more take his place. How many of them are there? A lot. And That's why they're called Legion. There's literally an infinitely spawning amount of them. I don't think this interrogation is going that well. I don't think these guys know where the drugs are. I wish we could get some real food out here. I haven't had a good hot meal in weeks. What are you talking about? You got a whole thing of pinion nuts right here! I'm gonna put this book on top of pinion nuts. You don't have these pinion nuts. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to find the pinion nuts. He doesn't have object permanence. <laughs> he has no idea of object permanence. If it isn't the guy that defeated the Legion at Nelson. How's the morale doing, Private Sexton? Lower than a feral ghoul's IQ. Lower than a feral ghoul's rotting ball sack. Lower than a limbo pole on Tuesday. Why Tuesday? Because that's when the limbo pole is the lowest, obviously. I've been placed in charge of morale. It's difficult trying to keep spirits up with the Legion nearby. In fact, there's more hope in wrangling Brahmin with my grandmother's stocking than inspiring these troopers. So there's no hope in hope? We should have brought hope. Ironic, isn't it? But it's understandable. The constant skirmishes take their toll on everyone in the end. Bringing up morale must be difficult. <laughs> I call that an understatement. But I can't complain. I'm not in the field as much as the others. I just stay here most of the day, coming up with activities to occupy the camp. Which reminds me of something I've been meaning to try. A killer competition to boost morale. Interested? Oh boy, let's hear Private Sexton's idea for his mandatory- Hell yeah! Great. Since the camp is threatened by Legion, I propose a hunt. Kill any you encounter, and bring me the Legion's ear as proof. You get it? Legion ear? <laughs> you get it, Zach? Pretty funny pun, huh? That is the stupidest. Yep, been waiting for a chance to use it. So can I count you in? We've already been collecting fingers for Randall. I guess we can start collecting ears as well. Great. Don't be surprised if you're already last when you return. If I'm right, the troopers will use any excuse to slaughter Legion scum. Okay, Private Sexton, we'll bring you all the Legion body parts you want. We'll bring you even some you don't want. Aren't you the guy that helped wipe out Nelson? Holy shit, man, that's fucking crazy! You know anything about Dr. Richards' missing medical supplies? Missing medical supplies? No, uh, I don't know anything about that. 
You look a little sick. Maybe you should see Dr. Richards. Zekus! No, no, that's not necessary. I'm fine. Just a little stressed out, that's all. What's your problem? Yeah, Private Stone, what's your problem? My problem? My problem is we're all going to die. We're out of food, we're out of men, and we're out of time. The Legion is right outside waiting to kill us all. Well, you're not out of food. We just brought you 600 pounds of rotting meat. And also mute fruit, because mute fruit doesn't really go bad. Are we just going to go rat out Private Stone? We don't have any evidence with which to accuse him of. He looks twitchy. Yeah, but so did that guy in the mess hall. We'll have to catch him in the act. So the medical supplies he hasn't stolen, we'll guard them tonight and catch him while he's grabbing them. Ooh, I got another idea. Oh, oh you got a better idea? Yeah. Okay. Look away. Look. Look away, please. Ha ha! I have pickpocketed an empty Hydra syringe off of Private Stone. Ah, oh, that would be all the proof we need if we could prove that it came from him and it's not just one of the Hydra syringes you've been using because you're such a Hydra junkie. I'm not a Hydra junkie. They don't know there's that. Also, there's also no proof that... I took it from him, other than the fact that I just said I took it from him. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to believe you have nimble fingers. We're gonna have it. to. We're going to have to find more evidence. Well, why don't we just stay up late? A stakeout? Is it a stakeout? It's a stakeout! It's oh a stakeout! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Slumber party! Woo! Yeah, we're just going to hide behind this mesh, and he'll sneak in, try and grab some more medical supplies, because they always return to the scene of the crime. They always return to the scene of the crime, except when they don't. Yeah, so when he comes in here, we'll catch him red-handed. And kill him! No. Turn him into the authorities? We'll, we'll just confront him in the act. Okay, we'll do that. This is a great plan. He'll never know we're in here. Yeah, uh, although I knew a guy who had a great idea for a restaurant. Shh, shh. Sell the Vincent, cheap, Vincent! Charge a shitload for the right away. Maybe keep your voice down. This is a stealth operation. Wait, isn't rotting fermenting? No, those are two separate processes. Son of a damn. Son of a damn. You're having trouble coming up with new swears, so you said son of a damn. <laughs> well, I was gonna say son of a bitch, but then I just decided to just say damn instead. Good, because my fragile virgin ears couldn't handle the harsh language. Where is Private Stone? Shut up! I'm on a stakeout, watching and waiting. The feeling is elating. How do I crawl under this bed? Biding my time. I know that Private Stone will soon be mine. All right, hold still. I'm going to stick this ophthalmoscope inside your ear. That's where ophthalmoscopes do normally go. You have a lot of wax buildup. You're the one who has a lot of wax buildup. You have wax buildup! No, I weekly use a scoop to remove ear wax from my ear. Show and I... you a scoop. And you're always like, you're not supposed to put Q-tips and ear scoops in your ears. But I always do because I like to remove the earwax. But you leave the wax in. You're gross. I clean my ears daily with a Q-tip, which doesn't actually remove any of the wax. It just shoves it further in. I, have you seen the Q-tips after I pull them out of my ears? There's a lot of wax on them. And just imagine how much doesn't come off. Oh, them. for God's sake. Really not making this easy for me. <laughs> Keep your eye on the prize. Eye on the prize. Oh, oh, what? What? It, is your cell phone going no, off? Shh, shh, you want to put that in shh, silence? Shh, shh. I, I, you, I just gotta grab it. Okay. Yep. Maybe turn your Hello? phone off. Hello? Hello? Why are you answering it? Hello? No, I can't. Why are you answering what? your no. phone? No, I'm in, I'm in the middle of a stakeout right now. I can't I can't talk on the phone. Don't. No. Don't. Hang no, up! No, I I don't want to I don't want to change my long distance service. Hang up! I don't want to change my long distance. And take me off the list. You don't owe them any courtesy. Take me, take me off the list. I said take me off the list. They're not listening to you. They never take you off the list. Take me off the. Oh shit! 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 shit boop. Confront him! Confront him! Ah! We, we got you right in the act. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm just enjoying a late night stroll. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's getting a bit late though. I should get going. Uh huh. Good night. I saw you stealing those medical supplies. Uh, look, it's not what you think. I can explain everything if you'll just hear me out. This place is hell. I've seen all my friends butchered by the Legion in front of my very eyes. I can still hear their screams at night. All I wanted was a little escape, so I took some drugs to help me do that. Is that so bad? 
What about the injured men that need this medicine? I... Uh, I never... I never thought about that. Yeah! Look, I needed this. I needed to escape for just a little while. I needed this. So what happens now? Clearly the drugs need to stop being stolen. Maybe you could convince him to turn himself in then. What? You want me to turn myself in? Why the hell should I do that? Because it's the right thing to do? Yeah, Private Stone. If you have any moral character whatsoever, you'll do the right thing and stop stealing medicine from people who need it. No, that's not going to happen. Okay. Bye-bye. Be safe. Hey, Dr. Richards. There's my little buttercup. What can I do for you? Stop. Okay, seriously. That's really... <laughs> that is really upsetting me. <laughs> now you know how it feels to be every woman in the world. Wow, that is... That's... I realize that this has only been like three interactions with this guy, but that's enough. He's <laughs> ready to punt his head across the room. I am, I am ready to just straight up kick him in the testicles. <laughs> so you found out what's happening with the supplies? Private Stone was stealing the supplies. Is that so? I'll have to talk to Major Pilotly about this right away. You said his name wrong. Uh, I finished helping Dr. Richards. Dr. Richards said you did a good job in there. That's <laughs> mighty high praise coming from him. Well, with that over with, and the Legion forces that Nelson defeated, we finally have some breathing room. Now we can actually try to strengthen our forces along the river and prepare for the upcoming battle at Hoover Dam. On a related note, I would like to file a sexual harassment claim against Dr. Richards. Watch yourself out there. Okay, he probably gets those every day and he doesn't even want to bother dealing with it. That's probably what the stack of paperwork actually is. <laughs> Troopers, we're here to brighten your day and bring some hope to your worthless, pathetic lives. Watch me dance on this table. <laughs> you were playing chess, but now you're not. 